Uh, welcome to Google's Summer of Code Office Hours. Thanks for being here. It is the 17th of March. Uh, what topics do you have that you'd like to bring onto, the, onto our agenda? So uh, I don't have a, just uh, any question, but I'm just, uh, just I'm just saying, sharing my progress so far. So uh, when, uh, when I was working with you on the um, um, the generator, that generator for generating the uh, step uh, pipeline step joke generator, but then I just like some uh, attracted most was cloud events, and from that day like I worked, I learned about. Uh, 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 Event-driven architecture, cloud events integrated into um, Java SDK, made a Spring Boot API, and passed it and all that specifications. And uh, yeah, now I have to um, look into two source codes of the plugin to gather the same idea of the proposed plugin to receive and to sorry, I mean the listen and emit events. So that uh, yeah, this week I will do that work. Yeah, so, yeah. Excellent. Very good. <clears throat> others, others want to share how they're doing. Rishab, thank you for joining as a mentor. Jeff, thank you for joining as a mentor. Both appreciated. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm. Hello, everyone. And, uh, so I'm working on Git credentials binding plugin. So far, I am stuck at SSH uh, bindings. Uh, learning some of this, and uh, right now, I Mark, I need some assistance in understanding the rationale of SSH bindings. Like, there's a problem, in, uh, not a problem, but the thing is, the uh, as per the rationals in the ideas page, uh, it was mentioned like uh, we have to uh, bind the file of passphrase into a non passphrase kind of file. Like, uh, that thing bugs me, like, how does it? goes around and what is uh, the behind the scenes working should be like that. Okay, that sounds like a, a, a good topic for discussion here. Um, so get credentials binding and credentials binding and how would it work? Good. All right. Uh, do we want to just dive into that right away so we can we can look at it together or are there other topics that people want to get on the list so we assure we've got i i have a hard stop in about 25 minutes so so for me at least i will need to pass off hosting to someone else if we run out if we run have more topics than we have time all right let's let's take a look at it so ayan it was it was you wanted to you were looking at well, maybe maybe it's best let me share my screen and we can look at the at the description and then you can tell me which part is unclear and we we go further there is that okay or do you want to share your screen either is fine yes yes yeah, yeah we can surely do that okay so let's look at my screen then and here's what I think you're referring to this one right here. Let's see, Google Summer of Code 2021 project ideas. Here, and it is this Git credentials binding for SSH, for SH and BAT. And let me make it big enough that it's I can read it. Okay, so so highlight for me or suggest for me which spot was was perplexing to you and let's talk further about it uh, in the uh, the part where the shs private key was mentioned uh, username password was very much clear like uh, there was simple username password uh, you have to do that and uh, all the execution commands uh, the user will uh, uh, do the get authenticated commands uh, the uh, user, pipeline user will work on the git it will be okay. The, it was simple to uh, bind that environment vari variables and uh, pass them to the command line. But the, in the SSS private key, there was a term in the rational uh, with a passphrase and without passphrase. When there was a with passphrase, we have to create a file and like uh, uh, in the Jenkins environment, it should be like whether it, uh, uh, 
either it be pass phrase uh, using a pass phrase or not a pass phrase but uh, uh, with a pass phrase a uh, file should be created such that uh, the ssh private key can use without pass phrase things and that thing like uh, a little bit unclear to me like uh, what is going on with that uh, like uh, as a, i am a git user i do you uh, i personally use ssh private uh, ssh keys and uh, once i set a pass phrase i don't need to uh, set it uh, uh, give the pass phrase uh, any time more but uh, what uh, it is exactly like in jenkins good okay very good so i think what you're saying is how does how, what's the concept to allow this credentials binding idea to to do passphrase protected ssh private keys and i might shift it and offer the the suggestion that jesse glick offered what jesse suggested was hey probably better than writing the passphrase onto the local agent onto the agent would be use the passphrase inside the plugin make a call to an appropriate java library that will decrypt the private key that's passphrase secured so it is no longer passphrase secured and then write the 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 credit the private key to the agent that is with that private key not being protected by the passphrase so the idea was jesse's suggestion was hey let's let's shift the processing of the passphrase away from having it done on the agent and instead do it on the controller and then pass the decrypted passphrase or the, the decrypted private key to the agent so that way you avoid having to write the the passphrase to the agent you avoid the problem of trying to manage how do we get the information about that passphrase down to the agent now it means you do have to find a way to convert a passphrase protected private key to one that is not passphrase protected in in java but jesse's indication was that those facilities should be available it's kind of like uh, either it be a passphrase protected or not passphrase protected. We have to convert it to, to a not protected kind of thing. And uh, Jenkins will work on it as it is. Uh, like uh, Jenkins, uh, in Jenkins, we store our credentials in uh, using credentials plugin. Uh, I am not sure of the name. It is Jenkins credentials plugin, I guess. Uh, so uh, like, uh, we can store the passphrase in some kind of other file and convert the using the passphrase convert that uh, private key file to a non passphrase protected file in the workspace or the agent controller as you uh, said kind of like that close right so it's that that the credentials plugin continues to be the thing that owns the the passphrase protected private key and it knows the passphrase and it knows the private key and inside the plugin, what you would do is use the passphrase and use the passphrase protected private key to generate a new private key, a private key that is that private key decrypted. So it no longer requires a passphrase. And that is 